All right, guys, what's up? We're back for a new video here. The last video you guys saw was finally test the new and improved 1.5 JZ S13. It all went very well, very happy with it, except for like one minor issue. It's not minor, it's kind of like a big deal. Like, it's not a big deal, if that makes sense. So, uh, this car used to be like four or 500 horsepower, 620 torque ish, something like that, and now we're making way more power, bigger turbo, higher compression. All the above. And honestly, the IETs in this car have never ever been good, which can also lead to many, many failures because it starts with the air, then the water, then the oil. If the air is hot and you're boosting hot air in the motor the whole time, you got a problem. So we gotta fix that. So like I said at the last event, it all went very well. Uh, everything felt great, but the IETs did get really, really hot. And uh, we turned the power down the whole time because of it. And uh, definitely Freddie had the tune, uh, pull some timing and add some fuel as uh, the the air got hotter and hotter, which means you're losing power. It's not efficient, not making the exact power you want. The, the ECU is pulling timing as it gets hotter. So we don't want that. We want the correct power. We want to be efficient and have a healthy engine and a long lasting engine. So with that being said, we're going to upgrade our true bumper stab intercooler. Now I've had this intercooler for years now and it's pretty tiny and I've wanted to change it. I just haven't, but now we are. So, right here is my True Focus Fab custom intercooler they made for me a while back. And uh, it works good for what I had before, uh, but now it doesn't. It's like a two and a half inch core. It's not that big. It's good for like four or 500 horsepower, but again, we're making way more than that now. But uh, now it all looks good, it all works well, but it's kind of crammed in here. So, uh, I hit up True Focus Fab. Andrew and I talked for a little bit, and we had the idea of to basically make it the same, but just make it come forward a little bit and have more efficiency uh, to be able to put fans in the intercooler, have more room up front, et cetera, et cetera. So my idea was to get another bash bar, custom make it, and have the jacking point go straight up and down. That way we have more room to have a bit bigger intercooler up to here. So uh, we did also get a new uh, bash bar. It's in the back right now. I painted it, it's in the back. It's drying right now. And once we get the intercooler on there, we'll be set to put the new bash bar on there as well. But so first things first, we're gonna get the bash bar off and then pull the old inner core off and then get to mounting the new one and I'll show you guys the new one up in here. I'm excited to get this thing off and get a more efficient inner core in there as well as some inner core fans as well to make it even more efficient to have colder air and way better IETs and it also will bring air towards the oil cooler, power steering cooler and radiator and have the radiator fans pull air out as well. So everything here will have better flow and cooler air now that we have a bigger intercooler and a fan and a fan on the back of it so let's get to it all right so we have the new four and a half inch true focus fab custom intercooler and uh, i'm very excited to get this on the car i called andrew with the idea of this needing this done in like a week before the event and he was like yep no problem we're taking care of for you and uh, we made it happen he made it happen so I am very stoked on it. Now we have a four and a half inch core compared to a two and a half inch before. We'll have much, much more room and a much more efficient inner core now with this power. And now all we gotta do now is install it on the car. But hopefully you can get it to fit right, make it work right, and then be good to go. But huge shout out to True Focus Fab. I've been with them for like five or six years now since I started drifting basically. And they've taken care of me every single time I've needed it. And uh, sometimes drifting can happen quick and you need parts quick and things happen and you gotta get it done and just make it work and he has been there every single time. They got bash bars, multiple chassis, uh, inner coolers, oil coolers, power steering coolers, expansion tanks, uh, everything, all the above. And we have a lot more stuff coming out soon. I have some cool ideas I wanna do with him for some like oil cooler fans, power steering cooler fans, and all that kind of stuff. But we've been running their stuff for years. I'm very stoked on their stuff. I have their catch can, their bash bar in the front and the rear. All my coolers are all Street Focus Fab. Overflow, Street Focus Fab, and more. So, yeah, let's get it on. All right, old one is off. Now, time to fit the new one on. Now, the mounting points are the same, but we're a lot thicker now. Like I said, got a new bash bar to fit the bigger inner core. Heavy being more forward gives it more room to have more air between the uh, inner core and the other coolers, but also gives us more room to have fans on the inner core as well. All right, so my exact vision has worked. The new four and a half inch True Focus Fab intercooler is in. The new bash bar is in now. Like I said, we have it up straight and down. That way we have enough room to fit the new intercooler and more. So jacking point still has plenty of room. Um, plenty of room between the coolers and the new intercooler. And plenty of room between the bash bar and the intercooler. And now the bash bar is kind of out a bit further. That way if there's any contact or an actual hit, we have some, some space between 
everything else and not have everything get smashed if that were to happen, thank God. So, um, yeah, we're good. Now, I test fitted the fan as well, and the fan literally fits perfectly in the middle with plenty of room to spare. So, that is literally perfect. So, now, mount the fan to here, wire it up, and then uh, test it out. It should be good. All right, so we're about done. The bumper has to be fitted tomorrow. Now, I did fit this bumper for the previous setup, and I got to like trim out the front uh, for the inner core and the new bash bar, but it all looked pretty sweet. All up in there, brand new bumper, um, brand new fresh painted, stick it up, all ready to go. Inner core fans on there, wired up. And then once we get back here tomorrow, we will trim the bumper, get it uh, fastened on the car, and we should be good to go. But once again, huge thanks to Andrew at Focus Fab for getting this thing done in like literally a few days, shipped out, new bash bar, new inner core, four and a half inch core, custom welded, and to my spec that I wanted, and it fits in the car perfectly. So um, I have all their products on their car for the S chassis, catch can, Old core, power steering core, overflow, inner core, both front and rear bash bars, all quality stuff, hand welded, and it's just some of the best stuff out there. So, and if you want your own True Focus Fab stuff, uh, I have a code, Shulminator, right here, 10% off for your own products. Go on the website, put the code in, get some money off, and uh, get it on the car and ready to go. Alright guys, what's up? So before you guys saw us do the inner core, the inner core fan for True Focus Fab, got that all installed and we also got Paul to mount the lower brackets. I didn't film that, but it's all installed, ready to go. We're at the V2 Lab Mystery Meet driving today. Uh, it's going really well so far. Uh, I went over the car a bunch of times this week and I somehow missed out that my power steering bracket is a little crooked. And that's why we probably lost the belt last time. So I bent it back to where I need it to be kind of for this event and I'm just gonna drive through it and then I should be all right after that. But uh, it's, I'm just driving when I can, but we're going. But we got the new bumper on the car. It looks really, really good. I gotta trim some more. I was too lazy to do more, but it looks super sick. Love the style of bumper. Uh, but car's running good. Uh, the IETs are actually a lot better. Uh, it is a little hotter than last event as well. So the car is running like five degrees hotter. Uh, we're gonna do more fan upgrades soon. I still have time past week or two but it's coming but all in all the cars are really good but we definitely got to address power steering make that a lot better i'm definitely driving more cautious today to make sure i can get some laps in with what we got right now but we also updated the livery a little bit got some sponsors on there got Molino on there now nuke dish works cp carrillo spectin on there now thanks to isaac cutting stickers with me all week even though it takes a million hours but it's free and more tires premiums more tires so you know but it's going good.
overall car is working pretty good. We've had some like really annoying issues all day. My power steering like really sucks. Uh, the pump is probably going bad and the bracket's a little bent and uh, it's not ideal. So I'm really manhandling this car like really, really bad. But um, we're getting laps. One of the fan wiring got messed up again. We fixed that as well. But everybody's getting right along. We're just running great. It's really fun. It's really hot today for some reason. I don't know why, but it's going good. So it's getting laps and laps and laps and then having some more fun, fun, fun. So uh, my GoPro died in a few of the chases I did, unfortunately, but I do have some footage to put in there. So you guys get something. We're back home, safe and sound, 240's home, I'm home, we're safe, we're tired, but it was a great day at OSW at the V2 Live Mystery Meet, Ravi and Tom did an awesome job organizing the event in the drifting side, 
It was a great time, the car ran great, but we are having still some little bugs with the power steering. Now in the video you guys saw, you can kind of see my steering was pretty rough and like okay in some spots and then rough again and then really rough and it was just really annoying to drive with and like power steering is like the number one thing you want to have in a car, especially a drift car of this caliber, to have to feel right because if it doesn't feel right, it feels like crap and if it's not perfect, it's really annoying. So. Uh, up next, we're gonna do a new power steering setup, a bigger pulley, uh, relocate the alternator to the other side, which braces the power steering pump to not have any more issues and throw a new pump in there while we're at it as well. If that doesn't work, we're gonna next setup, but like I can't fit much with my current setup. So that next power steering setup we're gonna do should be very, very good. So that is up next for the next event. Next event is OSW Black Friday. It's the biggest event of the year. I'm very excited. Three full days of drifting, partying, hanging out with friends. It's all good track time. So, but, uh, the car is running amazing, regardless. Like, the car is awesome. The new True Focus Fab intercooler with the fan on the back. It dropped IET's 50 degrees. Like, it was like 180, 190 IET's after a lap or two. And now it's 130, 135, 140 after a lap or two as well. So, big, big upgrade. Thanks to Andrew again from True Focus Fab for getting out to me really quick. Got it on the car, got it done. And uh, yeah, we had good laps everybody. Car ran good other than power steering and some fan stuff. But other than that, the car is great. Once we fix the little bug with the power steering, should be good to go and uh, be very, very solid. But I'm stoked on it. Uh, I'm not happy about driving at freaking 65% instead of 100. I hate driving when I can't drive to my full potential, but like the car was a handful. So still fun, still a good time. But once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys very soon.